Grand Rising Collective. How are we doing? Gonna do some um, quick Sunday readings. Okay. Some quick messages, quick confirmations for the Divine Collective today. There's new readings out on the channel. I also did some lives. If you haven't seen my lives, they're in the lives tab on my channel. You just gotta swipe over to live. So, okay, um, definitely put on your notification bell because I'm gonna be doing more lives next week where I'm gonna be doing readings for four dollars. Okay, four dollars as low as four dollars. Okay, let's get into this mini reading here. So, we have the six of wands in reverse. So, something is going on in the shadows, something is going on in the dark out of the public eye. Okay, um, something is not getting recognition, and it has something to do with money. All right, it has something to do with uh, opportunity, something to do with uh, prosperity. So something um, about your opportunity or an opportunity of somebody's around you, okay, is being hidden, okay? It's, it's being hidden. It's not being shown either to you or it's not public, okay? Let's inquire about that. It involves some type of uh, secrets, some type of repression of something. It's being repressed. Okay, it's being repressed uh, by possibly by somebody with cancer in their chart. Okay, somebody who's acting as a high priestess in reverse here. Could be a female energy. This person has no self. Uh, they lost their self a long time ago. Some would say that they lost their soul a long time ago. When they say you lost yourself. I get lost soul, lost self, lost soul, okay? You are your soul, right? So this person doesn't have a soul. They have a lot of repressed secrets. And it's about hidden agendas, this high priestess in reverse. So something is being hidden about your pentacle, your ace of pentacles being hidden by this person here, okay? This is supposed to be yours or someone else around you or both of you, okay? But it's being hidden from you, okay? Two confirmations is being hidden, okay? Some type of dark witch or some type of dark energy. Okay. This person has possibly stabbed you in the back. You might know who this is. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. All right, you might have had like a, a bad ending with this person. Okay, you might have ended things with this person because it was getting really bad. Okay, and... You might have had to done something. You might have had to do some type of like um, spiritual cleansing, okay? Cleansing of your space. But the swords are falling out now because the cycle has ended, okay? Knight of Cups came out here. This person is, is disguising themselves as different energies. Now they're going to try to approach you uh, with a cup of love. All right, collective. They're, they're, they're posing as different energies. As you can see, Six of Wands in reverse, High Priestess in reverse, Knight of Cups. Now they're going to try to come to you in the upright. Okay, this person is is off the rack, man. Okay, because they've seen that, that you shut it down. Right here, you shut it down. You are not allowing them into your space anymore. They're cut off. Okay, basically. You took their own sword and cut them off. They're playing games, collective. So now they're here they come with their romance, okay? Quote, following their heart, okay? They're going to try to bring love to you. They're going to try to tap into your emotions because this person is hell-bent on your, your whatever is supposed to be for you or someone else in you, or okay? They're hell-bent on getting it. So now they're trying to say sorry to the swords. Sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I love you. It's bullshit, okay? It's bullshit. You could have Virgo in your chart. You could have water in your chart. Okay, you could have earth in your chart. Yeah. Mm. A death and rebirth is necessary, okay, for this energy here. 
for this uh, Ace of Pentacles to be received, some type of death and rebirth either happened or needs to happen um, for this Ten of Cups life to happen. <laughs> okay, so you I definitely see heavy water here. Um, this person is, their goal is to prevent this from happening. This is what they want for you, uh, is your Ten of Cups to be in reverse, okay? That's this person's goal, okay? But you could have had a death and rebirth, okay? But just to know this person's true intention is to keep your Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? And they're working real hard doing it, okay? Three of Wands says that they're working hard on it. Mm. They're looking ahead and they're trying to do this rapidly. They're trying to do this quickly. Okay. Whatever this person or energy is, they're trying to do it quickly. Um, but a death and rebirth happened. And possibly that's why uh, they have to go back to the thinking tank and start over again. Okay. Um, Okay, so it could have been a fire energy that you wanted to have a family with. King of Wands here in the upright. King of Wands is typically a leader, somebody who overcomes challenges. Who's con And sometimes it's like, in reverse, this energy is like somebody who has like some type of sex addiction. They're very loose. Okay, so this King of Wands could be overcoming some type of sexual, um, you know, shit. You know, they could be struggling with temptation or lust okay um but they're in the upright here okay and they're happy being in the upright okay um that's maybe your person okay it came out under this ten of cups life in reverse so this is probably your person okay um yeah they're in the upright Okay, so they, they know that in order for this Ten of Cups life to happen, they could have also they could also be going through a death and rebirth here on the left here. Okay, they could also be looking forward as well. So both of these energies are looking ahead, but for different reasons. Okay, so there's an energy here looking ahead because they want to keep the Ten of Cups in reverse. And then there's an energy looking ahead, looking the other way. Okay, because they want the Ten of Cups to be in the upright. Okay. They want happiness. They want success. They want to celebrate. They want pleasure. Okay, with you. They're going. This these two energies are looking in two different directions because one energy wants to do something bad. They want to continue to stab you in the back here, and there's one energy that wants to have a family with you, and they're looking towards this death and rebirth right here on the left. They're looking towards it because they know that that's that's the solution is the death of psych psychological ways that were not good for them. Okay. Things that were trapping them. They need to release them. Give me more on this King of Wands and Sun card, please. Okay, this person is using their strength. Okay, they could have Leo in their chart. It's very possible. Or just fire energy. Okay, or tapping into their fire energy. They're using their strength, okay, because they were giving up, all right? They were giving up. Seven of Wands in reverse says, I was giving up. I was overwhelmed. I'm lacking confidence, but I'm trying to be strong. This person is trying to be strong because they want to be together. There's something fighting against them. And they, they're having courage. They're having compassion. They're also experiencing conviction, collective, which is death and rebirth. They're experiencing conviction. But they were losing confidence in this right here. So this person was divided, okay? On this side with the negativity and this, the backstabbing with this individual, they were struggling and losing confidence in a plan. But they're having strength in this rebirth, which means these things should turn around. Okay, they can only do one thing at a time. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. They can only do one thing at a time. This is a lot and it's going to require a lot of patience. Clarify the seven of seven of wands in reverse.
Yeah. Mm. This air energy, okay. Remember I was telling you this energy, it comes in different, but it's it, at, at the root of it, it's air energy. It's sword energy. And I've pulled other readings, verified it's like Gemini energy, okay? But they come in other forms. They, they were masks. So we have this air energy with the Ten of Swords in reverse. We have Four of Swords in the upright here. So there's something going on with the Queen of Wands here as well. This Queen of Wands energy in reverse, very jealous, insecure, selfish. Could be a third party, fourth party, for all I know. But we got Four of Wands here. Okay, it could be a fourth party, fourth person. Um, this person went through hell and high waters with this Queen of Wands, okay? And they're trying to restore themselves after dealing with this Queen of Wands energy, this in reverse, this negative fire energy. They're trying to remain strong, okay? They were losing confidence partially because of this Queen of Wands energy here, okay? And the sword energy. So this person was, was getting swords from both sides. As you can see in this picture, there's swords on both sides of them, underneath and above, okay? So they were feeling it pretty hard. Um, it could also mean that the swords energy that is um, that this person is involved with or attached to is also going through some type of ailment or something, okay? Because I did pull sick person for an air energy the other day. It's in my lives, that video. So it's possible that that's happening as well. Okay, it can mean several things. This is a general reading. So there's different messages coming through. This Queen of Wands is not a good person. Okay, there's somehow, um, they could be working with the sword energy that is in the background here. Okay, five of swords here. This person is very sneaky, okay, and disgusting. This is my ball headed cucaracha card. That's what they are. Okay, they're they're worthless here. Okay, they have no value, so they have to cut people down to feel good about themselves, to feel like they have value. They have to divide people. This makes them feel good in some sick way. So that's what he did collective. All right, they could have divided you up and they, they had help. This person had help. They're too weak to do it on their own. Okay. But don't trust this individual. This person is no good. They're still up to no good. They're still in reverse. They're sneaky. And they're out to divide. They don't want anybody to transform into anything. They don't want anybody to evolve. Because they can't evolve. This is like a succubus energy. That's just looking for light bodies. They're looking for energy. Positive energy high vibrational energy to leech off of. And they use their wand, okay? They use sex, period. This queen of wands has a dick. And I say it like that because maybe she is a woman, but okay, she has a high body count, honey, okay? Not to say that women can't have a high body count, but this one does. You know, men are more stereotypically known for having high body counts, but so is this one here, okay? And somebody is trying to, I feel like this, some, I'm getting, somebody's fucking with my dick. Somebody's fucking with my dick. You're trying to take my dick or something like that. This person is very weird, okay? They're very possessive over the their partners. They're very possessive over their sex partners. They feel like some type of ownership over their sex partners. And I'm hearing like, you're trying to take my dick. You're trying to, you know, like, you're, you're trying to take take that away from me. This person is sick, okay? They have some type of sex addiction and they're sick sexually. They have these weird um, fetishes. I was pulling a fetish card a lot last week. Um, they like to have sex outdoors and shit like that. Like these people, nothing wrong with having sex outside, but they do it in some kind of other weird way, okay? I'm getting rituals or something like that, all right? So they're grieving right now. Um, yeah, five of cups in reverse. King of Pentacles is trying to find peace, okay? There's a King of Pentacles that's trying to find peace. Who is King of Pentacles? Clarify who is King of Pentacles. So there's, a, there's some wealth here, okay? And there's some dark, dark wealth, okay? 
yeah so king of pentacles is this fire energy here the sun card the king of wands okay who's looking forward okay he's planning to to leave home from this energy okay planning to leave home he wants to be a king of pentacles again right now he could be a king of wands because he's been slaying that dick slaying these hoes yes so you know he is a leader still but he's been you know he wants to be a king of pentacles that's his goal so he's taking his wands on the road honey heading out looking for a new place to be wants to get away from this negative energy and, and, and possibly have a transformation all right um Look out for my next reading.